Ed Rogers, CEO and Chief Investment Officer of Rogers Investment Advisors, who advises Japanese uh, pension funds and their investments, uh, joins us from New York this morning. Ed, good to have you back on the program. I and mean, what a story this AIJ is turning into. Uh, some are calling it now a live door moment for the pension funds and for pensions in general. I mean, we saw Horie, the founder of live door, go to jail. Is that going to be the case for AIJ? Well, I, I, I don't really expect you. Uh, first of all, good morning. Thanks very much for having me on the show, even in New York, uh, while you're back in Asia. Um, this is a very serious incident, no doubt about it. Uh, but I think it needs to be taken within context. Uh, if, it, if there is criminal activity, then I have full faith that the Japanese authorities will search that out and they'll take appropriate actions. But we're talking about Japan, the world's second largest developed economy in the world, a $2 billion fund that has a problem. In the context of a multi-trillion dollar asset management industry is not exactly like the whole house is burning down. Uh, what this points to, I think, once again, whether it is a live door moment or not, is the importance of investors doing appropriate due diligence, and most particularly in the alternative asset management space, making sure that they have vetted thoroughly vetted their investments, and that usually will mean you have to rely on an investment professional to help you with that process. If we look at the yeah, people who have been Ed, impacted by this. Ed, people thought AIJ was a, an investment professional. What about those that have lost their pensions in this uh, mess? What are you going to say to them? Sure. Well, I'm going to say that uh, people who thought that Madoff was an investment professional, it's the same thing. Don't be penny wise and pound foolish. I've heard for the last 10, 15 years, regular complaints from investors about, I don't want to pay an extra layer of fees for due diligence. I don't want to pay an extra layer of fees to go and vet the managers. It's too expensive for me to get on a plane and go fly and do on-site due diligence. Well, guess what? That's penny wise and pound foolish. And the second phrase you have to remember is a fool and his money are soon parted. People need to take no. the process of investing seriously, and they haven't been doing it. That's what this shows more than anything else is a, is a lack of appropriate due diligence on the part of the investors. Okay, so you're saying that uh, this proposal for pension funds in Japan to stop investing in hedge funds is not appropriate? No, I, I, look, I think asking people to stop investing in hedge funds uh, in today's world where you're getting zero return on your cash, in fact, it's negative returns on your cash, uh, it's, it's kind of like asking people to stop reproducing. Highly unlikely. Money needs to go. I mean, the Japanese pension fund space has the same problem as its brethren in the United States and in Europe. They're underfunded pension funds throughout the world. How are you going to right, solve that problem? You have to make especially. risk investments, and hedge funds are one of the best ways to do that. Yeah, especially with Japan having, you know, really a demographic issue and so many uh, retirement age. So, Ed, you know, you, you operate a fund of funds, right? So you put your money into these hedge funds. How do you make sure that, uh, you know, you've done your due diligence? They're not in AIJ. In fact, have you even put any money into AIJ? Have you lost money in this? Sure. Uh, well, actually, we're a fund of funds advisory business, just to be clear. But, look, we were, we were introduced to AIJ over a year ago. And when we expressed interest in doing due diligence on them, they came back and they said, we don't want you to do due diligence. We're not interested in anybody who has any foreign investors. The, the reality is people like AIJ won't let us come in the door. People like Madoff won't let us come in the door. We do know how to do, you know, the phrase is deep dive due diligence. We do understand how to do operational due diligence, service provider due diligence. We know what steps to take to verify that what the hedge fund or the asset manager says he's doing is something that he's actually doing. It's a specialized set of knowledge. Not everyone has it, and that's why investors who are, are worried about being efficient in their allocation process are willing to hire us to do the due diligence for them because it is specialized. You're not going to write your own will. You're going to hire a lawyer to do that. You're not going to do your own taxes. You hire an accountant to do that. You shouldn't do your own investing, frankly, in hedge funds. You should be hiring a fund of funds professional or an advisor that knows that business before you make those sorts of investments. That's what this is all proving, I think. No more, no less. Okay, so it's buyer beware then in your view. Ed, uh, good talking Absolutely. to you this morning. And, yeah, and thank you so much for your insights. Uh, that's Ed Rogers, CEO and Chief Investment Officer of Rogers Investment Advisors, joining us from New York.